Alright, so we should be live again. And hopefully it won't lag as much this time. And this is part four. So let's get it going. Uh, we're about to do this challenge over here. Uh, oh, is he up? Must be up there. Alright, we're gonna need... Just gonna grab this. Hello again, Jack. Yes, we're back. A little ten second. <laughs> what? I thought that there was a Jiggy over here. That's a Jinjo challenge. There is one. Oh, he's in, he's in here. Yeah, I just want to see if maybe this. Sometimes if I stop a stream and start it back up, the lag usually gets at least a little less infrequent. And that way, you know, these will be shorter parts to watch too in the end. So that one, was, that one was about an hour. Oh, what is this? I think I remember really hating this challenge. Oh, it's a land-based race, yeah. So we need something with speed. Umba Racer 2 has decent speed. Let's try this one. We'll try Humba Racer 2. Is this going to be fast enough? There is a part somewhere that you can get really good. It's like... What just, what just hit me? Right, we might be able to win with this. I feel like that this is probably fast enough. Alright, we're ahead of her. We should really be able to make some ground with her as long as we don't crash into anything. See, I don't mind these like races and stuff, but it's like... The whole game is all very, very vehicle based. It's like they're fun, but you know, they. After a while. Wait, what? She took a shortcut. Probably through the middle part there. I see her game. Oh, and she's gonna do that. Wow. Stay the course, just stay the course. We might be able to pull this out despite her cheating. Wait, where did she go? How did she get there ahead of us? I'm baffled as to where she went to take that shortcut. Get out of here, I swear. Oh my gosh, everything is trying to ruin our chances here. We're ahead of her again somehow. Or she takes some other stupid shortcut that we don't know about. Come on, go, 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 go. This is it. No. Yes, okay. We got the... Uh... <laughs> That's a tough one. We got the Jiggy. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's Klungo's got one down here. Alright, let me just skip that and see what we're doing. Oh, 
is this? Vaco Nuts Special Machine Mumbo to Collect Harvest. Okay. I remember this one. through that door so we get down there quicker out of my way I don't, I don't really remember what I'm doing here I gotta shoot him Gotta bring him back to him. Pretty sure I collected a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Nuts. So say how many I need to get, I probably just need to get all of them that are out here. The problem is we're, we're sucking up this other stuff. Do this challenge right away. How would you do this to get the Thomas? Oh, now we're stuck in this house. We have a gun, actually. Just want the. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them now. Are we getting more lag? We are. Wow. Oh! How many do I need to get? We need 14. We need two more. All right, we can do this. Just two more. There's one and two. Okay, now we just need to get out of here. All right, yeah, we're gonna get the, we'll get the, uh, the jiggy. I could probably get the Thomas trophy on this one. I gave it a few more tries. Okay, clean it up here. Let's go see if maybe we could even get all four of the uh, jiggies in this act. Du, 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 du. Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean to do that to your house. <laughs> we got a fly. Uh oh. Tally ho! Two birds fully fueled, mine. Okay, so use a plane. Alright, so we gotta listen to his instructions as we go. This is gonna be a fail. Right, what are we doing? Pick me. This one's speed. Okay. Climb. Am I high enough? Okay, where am I going? Oh, I gotta fly through rings. What is this, Superman 64? not good with planes in any game. I'm just bad with vehicles in general, guys. In any video game. <laughs> I'm 
pretty good at the first Sonic All-Stars racing game, as far as driving goes, other than that. View. Let's begin with the classic. Time to loop. What? Is that what he wanted me to do? What did you want me to do? I didn't even have a chance to read all that. Go into a dive, build a speed, and pull back and left stick, send the plane into a big loop. Okay. There. Want me to knock a coconut off the big pile of crates? Oh boy. Alright, well, as long as I get the puzzle piece here. I'm good at Crash Team Racing and that's about it. Never played Crash Team Racing. I know they released a new one. You're probably talking, are you talking about the, the classic one? Or the newer one, Jack? Because I haven't played the, either of them. Any coconut will do here? Tackle my first landing. Yeah, let's let's hope so. It's better be the end of it so I can get this puzzle piece. The classic one. Okay, that's what he figured. Yeah, I never played this. Do those play like Mario Kart at all, or are they like completely different? Dog fighting. I left you some equipment. How would I ever be able to do this in time? Where's the equipment? supposed to do? Shoot down all- oh my goodness, let me- I have to restart this challenge. It is similar to Mario Kart. I probably like weapons and stuff. Man, that's tough to do all those tasks in that amount of time. I think I wasted too much time climbing in the beginning and getting the other loop. Yeah, see this one's so far away. This is as fast as you can go with the plane, too. Now we know we gotta turn around and go the other way. So many tasks you gotta do in a small amount of time here. It's like pilot wings or something. Gosh, how would you ever pull this off to get the Thomas Trophy? pretty quickly here and it's still not even close to getting at the, Tom the Thomas Trophy. Okay, this thing's like falling apart too. Now we gotta shoot all the targets down. Look at they're all over the place. How would you ever do this to get the Thomas Trophy when you have to use this plane? Come on. This has got to be the last thing we got to do here. I mean, we were close, but dang, I really couldn't have done much better there. But we got the jiggy. 
Alright, nice. So there's four jiggies for us. Just like that. Let's go back out to town and grab those. Man, if we were to to get 100% in this game, you'd really have to grind, put yourself through some torture with some of these challenges to try and beat them. Oh yeah, Bandra's definitely getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Not only Will Smith, but uh, Bandra's getting more jiggy with it here because we got all these jiggies. <sighs> all right. Dun, dun. All right, we're gonna get a whole bunch more jiggies here. Look at them all. Come on. Jigo uh, CM. So that's the fourth level. We can already unlock that. I don't even know how to get that over there. That's crazy, we already unlocked that. I guess we can go grab that. Might as well open that door. We're obviously not going there yet. Seventy five, I believe that's like the door that gets you in towards the end of the game. So I think I got up to the final boss the final area or one of the final challenges whatever you want to call it when I first played this game and I couldn't beat it so we'll see but I feel like if we beat this game we can always play more of it and try and explore more and grab some other stuff that we don't have yet I don't know. If it lets you the world after beating the game, I don't know if it does. Although he's got police. Look at this police thing. Alright, so how do I get that in there? Right here. And obviously there's a switch of some sort that I have to press. Oh, I have no idea what it would be. Uh, let me try it. Getting up here. There we go. Uh, there's got to be a switch that turns that on. Oh, look at all the jiggy, the uh, p notes over there. So we'd have to get on that building, the police building, to climb across there. There's parts over there too. Oh shoot. How are we gonna get over there? I wonder if I can get on top of this light and jump over. Oh shoot! Oh my goodness, I'm s trying to not fall here. Ah! Oh. oh my gosh, okay. Oh, this cat. Jerking around, I can't. Get him to jump how I want him to jump. I wish it would just stay. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh, I think I need to get up on that and just jump really quickly. I don't know. Is that what I need to do? Maybe I need to get on the other crane across the way. I don't know. I'm going to try getting up here first. I think if I get up on this light uh, and jump over quickly, I can get over there. Never mind. Alright. Maybe that crane... Oh, that crane is hooked. Okay, I need to get on the crane, actually. Somehow I need to get over there. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. It might not be a good one. Actually, it's probably not a good one, but I'm going to try it. After, let me get this down there first. Oh, please. He crashed into me. Get out of here with that. I got the cops after me. I'll get out of here with that. Get it, get, just get. Yeah, I don't like that they deploy police around now. It just makes it annoying to drive into anything. There you go. Mumbo. Grenade gun, nice. I don't remember what the special part is. I remember getting some part that I attached to a vehicle that made some challenges so easy it was so helpful. I honestly don't remember where I got it. I should stop here and maybe upgrade myself fully. Bog is eating his own scarf. Speed. Again, what does the stamina do? Well, increase your maximum energy level. Take more punishment. Oh, I see. Strength. Carry bigger objects. Walk faster while carrying them. And basically hone yourself to fighting fitness. So. I think I'll do stamina right now. We'll come back and get the strength eventually. So there we go. See, Vandra is pretty quick now, walking around. Yeah, much faster. Okay. All right. So here's my idea. My idea is to drive this vehicle over here. Jump on this. Get up there. There we go. Okay, we have those. I st oh, there's a path right there the whole time. There's a path to get up there. All right, so we can get up on that island. I still want to get across here. Uh, I can't make that jump. So how would you get up there? You would need a vehicle to drive along there, probably. Let's go do this crane thing. So we need a uh, we need a vehicle. Well, I actually have another idea. Yeah, there we go. Can we make this jump. Come on, we could do this. 
do this. We can do this. Ah, oh, that's the right idea, though. That's what we gotta do. And in order to do this, we're like really trying to beat the system here. Oh, we did it! You had to like let it go and jump into it really quickly to pull that off. Okay. I think I can make that other jump too. Okay, alright. So we could probably park right there. Yeah, this should uh, open up this fourth level here. Again, we're not going to go in here yet, but we have the part. We might as well open it up a while. Oh. And there's a piece up here. Should go. Well, there's a crate right there. You can see. We gotta get on top of that structure too. Jigo Seam is the fourth level. This that level's it's not much to look at, it's more of like an just like an arena. Uh, as I said, the uh, third level when we go to that, I love that level. Alright, so it's showing us the doors, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so we have that. I'm pretty sure I've climbed all the way up this, uh, this crate before, too. Maybe not. I swear I've gotten up there. We have no reason to climb that, though. There's nothing up there. Other than to be a... Parkour. Banjo parkour. No, 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 no. Stay there. Okay. Alright, so I want to get over there where we were trying to get. Is um well, I feel like I should take this crate back first. This thing's tough to drive in the water, I'll tell you. It's not steer easily. So we need the Kevin Bacon so we can just float along to the water. Oh. I'm gonna go get this crate back over there first so I don't lose this. <sighs> the cops like to sit right out in your way here. So you have no choice but to hit them. It's entrapment, really. Ejector seat and boot in a box. Huh. 100% sure what either of those do. Get out of the way! The cops are coming over here. Look at. Does it tell you how many musical notes are out here? Show it. Oh, it does. Um, 900, holy crap, we have almost, we have over 650 though. J 
Jinjos, Minjos, Mumbo Crates return 23 of 57. You end up spending the most time, obviously, out here in Showdown Town. Because it is massive and there's so much to do. Jiggies, look at all the Jiggies. But I'm pretty sure those are from uh, Trophy Thomas. A lot of those Jiggies, so... So we're going to do what we did before. And I feel like if I... I needed to jump a little bit earlier. Alright, here we go. Let's try it again. So, I think I hit A by accident. Ah, oh, no way. Maybe we can't make that jump. I don't think we can. Hmm, how would we get up there then? It's gotta be how you do it. Because there's nowhere else to climb or get up on to get over there. Here. Uh, how do we? I bet you we can't walk up this. No, we need our vehicle. Where are we? Oh, okay. Okay. I want to get up on that building too so I can try and get... I think there's a crate over there. We need to get inside the police station so we can tightrope across to this structure and get the musical notes up there. Oh my gosh. Egg turret and balloon six. Full of six balloons. So go see if we can get up on top of one of these buildings over here. We know we can get up on top of there. It's the police station. Or this other one that we need to get up on. That structure right there. Oh, the police station's got steps right here. Okay. Fences, too. Who's trying to break out of here? And there's a crate. There. Okay, um... Now there's a wire right here to cross. So here we go. No, 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 we're almost there, we're almost there. There we go. Pull these over here. Oh, 
by a one one four nine three. Sorry, we bought the combination, didn't we? And that drops a crate right there. Nice. Okay. I want to get on top of there. See, there's a crate over there where we're trying to get before. Hmm. I am going to try and give that another go. I'll put this right there. Spotlights. All that for spotlight. Let's go see what we got over here. Gotta be something good, huh? Uh, the gyroscope. Uh, is that the thing? No, I think it's like the sticky ball or something that I remember really being handy. The gyroscope might be good too. But there we go. Um, let's go back over there. Uh, gotta go down here. <clears throat> Why is this game so addicting? <clears throat> it really is. It's like I'm playing it for the first time again. If that makes any sense. <clears throat> um, okay, we got up there. How did I get up there? Right here. Get away, cop. Nothing to see here. We can get down there. You see, we want to get over. Yeah, like I said, over on that structure. I can't make that jump, I don't think. be close I might be able to make the jump I also want to get over there as you can see there's two crates on top of those buildings All right, well let's try and get across here again oh, I don't know what I can So I feel like I can't get quite high enough. I need to get on top of this light again. Um, as you, ah, you just slip right off. jump straight across here. I might as well try it. Oh, okay. That's easier than I was making it out to be. There we go. Right, so let's drop that down there. Don't know what this does yet. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that's another door for the uh, Gigaseum, I think. Can we walk on this? Oh, we can. Is there anything up there? There probably is. How do I get up there? Can you tell all I want to do in this game is just climb everything? Come on, Banjo. Face the right way. He won't grab that light pole. I don't know if there's anything on top of this little roof here. I mean, if I... I could probably... Oh. Obviously, once you jump, you're kind of locked into that one direction. So, like, say if I want to jump this way... You can't, like, turn your body at all when you jump. Pretty much be facing or pressing the direction you want to jump. Um, yeah, there's no way to... Oh, you know what? I, I can see from here there's nothing up there. Alright, so we don't need to go up there. That's how you would get to that door, is by jumping across there. There we go, love. A little short gear. A rhino stick. Folding wings. Oh, those are actually really handy because then you fold them out when you need to fly and you can just kind of tuck them in so you're not always... That makes a vehicle both land-based and have um, wings. I think I remember building something that could go in the water, the land, and the sky. If you get something with the inflatables, the floaties, foldable wings and wheels, that's what we're going to have to build eventually. Something that can kind of go everywhere. I make it light enough so it's not like way down. Uh, what's this part of town? This is near Klungo's Arcade across the way, right? Yeah. See, there's stuff on top of these buildings too I'd like to get to. Huh. It's very beneficial for you to go around and collect notes and parts early on. Like I said, we have a whole bunch of great vehicles we've been able to do some challenges with because we've been able to collect so much stuff early on. That we cannot get across yet. So how would we get up there? We have to get in this other building first somehow? Cause there's there's musical notes on top of this this like hotel building right here. Or uh, the fact fact. Is there a way up there? There is. There's a um. Oh, there's a tightrope right there. Oh, we can climb this pole. Perfect. Perfect, alright. You can see over there, there's notes on top of that building. Two across the way. Alright, here we go again.
So we're doing really good here. That was pretty good. Alright. Okay. Now we want to go over here. Here. Now we take rope walk over to that part. There's nothing else up here, is there? Can we climb these? Can't climb those for some reason. Alright, there it is. How we get on top of that building? Looks like we can go inside there, maybe? Yeah, maybe we can. Let's grab this a while. Exploring this town is like so much fun. There's just so much there's stuff around every little corner here. Little things to see here and there. Stuff to collect. It's more fun than the levels really. Right, you can see there's a red gate along that. We can't get in there yet. So there's probably no way for us to get up in there. But that's not going to stop me from trying. So much to see and do. Exactly, Jack. There's like. There's just so much to do. Got a lot to explore each. So, like in Banjo. The original Banjo Kazooie, obviously, still the best one by far. Uh, gave you that whole exploration part of it. These sandbox levels that dropped you in. You know, there was Spiral Mountain and all that, but there wasn't as much to do around here. And the second game I found to be quite tedious, as I've said before, just because of like, things you have to remember how to, you have to bring this character here and there. It was like, it was too much. This is a little bit better paced, I think, than the second one. But the first one had like the best level design. Like, there's nothing like the levels in Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, we can't get in and down that red gates. I didn't see a way up. But I'm like, really like... I said, one day I do want to make a list of my top, like, 20 favorite games of all time. Up to the point of the video, that is. Um, like, I already know... I mean, everybody knows Alan Wake's my favorite game. That's no secret. Uh, we got the Freeze Easy. Okay. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie would be up there. Turtles in Time and stuff. Um, it'd be interesting to see like what I would even end up putting on there. I'd have to leave a lot of really good games off, but I'd look at ones that I've really enjoyed the most or have a lot of sentimental value with. There's a lot of things that would come into play of why I would put games in. Like if I play this game enough on the channel, I could even see myself putting this in my top 20 of all time, like for real. I didn't think I would, but the more I play this, the more I really, really enjoy this game. And it brings back a bunch of memories of me just spending a lot of time playing the game before. Good nostalgia. Uh, so it'd be tough. Who was it that said... I know you told me your favorite game once, Jack. Was it like the jump game, the bug jump or something? What was it? Maybe that was Sparky that said that. Someone in the chat told me once. 
what their favorite game was. I can't remember if, if it was you, Jack. It was either you or Sparky, I think, that said it. It was like Bug Jump or something like that. I, oh, I can't remember the name of the game. It might have been Sparky. Um... Because, like, there's obviously a lot of games that I haven't played yet that it would probably be considered, at least considered for my top 20. Because you, you can't play everything, but... Uh, I'd have to put a Pez game in there, and it'd be tough. That'd be tough to choose which Pez game to put in and how high on the list it would go. Because I've spent so many hours games. Those are really a lot of my gaming memories are from Pez games. So... I would have to really think about which one I put in. Um, I mean, I can see several 360 games already just looking over that I put in there, or at least potentially. Um, I haven't played enough PlayStation 2 to really warrant any of those games. I'd say out of PlayStation 2, the one game I could put in there would be Silent Hill 2. For sure. That was me, yeah, Jump Bug. That's it, Spark, you're here. So, hello, first of all, and second of all, yes, Jump Bug. My favorite game, I think, would be the original Crash That's a good choice there, too, Jack, because, um... Uh, I remember, like, obviously, I didn't play it when it came out. I didn't have a PlayStation when I was, when I was little, but... I did play, of course, the remake here on the channel and enjoyed it. There were some really tough levels, though. But uh, it, that's a, I can see why people consider it such a classic game. Uh, a lot of neat things, quick, you know, fast-paced levels, great platforming, just a lot of everything like those Crash Bandicoot levels. You played a game that and Jump Bug. I obviously, I I looked it up. I remember I couldn't. I haven't played that before. I was calling it Bug Jump. It's Jump Bug. Um. That was like an arcade game, wasn't it? Those are good ones. That's what I like about, you know, this. Uh, everybody's got different favorites. Everyone's list would be different. But so, you know, so good to them. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I wanted to go... Where else should I explore here? Should I go back into the second level, maybe? Grab some more. Could go into the third level. Jump bug is not about jumping bugs yet. <laughs> Hold on, let me like Google it again. I remember seeing pictures of it. It has like the old retro. I know it's an old game. It's an old arcade game, right? Yeah, Jump Bug. Uh, um, developed by Banpresto ADK. So it's only an arcade game, right? It wasn't ever released on consoles, was it? Oh, that's right, I remember seeing the cabinet, the white cabinet with the blue and red accents. Cabinet. Yeah, I remember looking this up then when he told me originally. From, like, 81. Uh, Jump Bug is an arcade game that got released on consoles like the ColecoVision. Oh, so it was on ColecoVision. Console I don't have. It's free for the multi-arcade machine emulator. That's something you could probably get on your PC, huh? I don't know if my, my PC would run that. Um, so it was released on ColecoVision. I wonder how expensive a ColecoVision would be to buy. I think I played a ColecoVision like a long time ago. Someone had one and I remember playing, trying one out. But I never actually, I never owned one, like I'd have to buy it. Obviously I would have never, would have been around when it came out, but it, um, it's probably super expensive these days to, to buy a console like that. One that works well. I don't know why I'm trying to get up here, but I am. Come on. Uh, 
Uh, he, d he doesn't like grab onto these ledges, so I don't think I can get up there. There's probably nothing up there, but you never know. Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System would be your favorite game. Is that different from the one on Sega Genesis? Cause I've never played a... Well, I, I, I can't say I've never played. I think I've played a Master System. I've never owned a Master System. I kind of want one, though. It looks like a great system. Now, that's got to be different from the one. It's very different. Okay, so it is different. Yeah, I've never... I don't know if I've ever... Okay, well, we're up here, but I don't think we can get any higher up than this. Um, I know the retro game store that's near my apartment, like a mile and a half away or whatever it is, two miles, um, had a Sega Master System in there, like in its box and everything, for sale. So... I was like looking at it, I was like, oh shoot, they got a Sega Master System. They probably have some games there for it too. I know they got Sega Genesis games, that's where I got my Turtles Hyperstone Heist from. I figured there might be notes up there, nothing up there. Just go over here somewhere. I think a potato could run me on that really, huh? So basically you're saying my computer could probably run that. Is it It's free. Uh, I wonder how much how much does main cost though? Can we can tell it. Sonic the Hedgehog for Sega Master System. That's an interesting one. That's probably an expensive game now too. Is there anything over here? Oh, it's one of those mystery eggs. Oh, look at that in the water. I should look and see how much that Sega Master System is. It's probably like $150 at least, I would think. Especially since it comes like in the box. And will be guaranteed to work and all that. Problem is finding games for it'll be tricky. For me, the hardest system that I own to get games for is definitely the Sega Dreamcast. I don't see those out in the wild too often. Even the retro game stores and stuff don't tend, don't really carry them too often, or any ones that you really want. And um, it, they're like expensive to get off some websites. Certain games, especially in their case and everything so it is tough you can find almost all the old sonic games on this list and barky says mame is free your computer actually is a potato <laughs> the sonic mega collection plus for the pc i wonder if that was released on consoles that's cool though it's got all the old sonic games I remember talking about the Sonic games in a recent enough stream. Um, the only ones I have... I have Sonic Lost World for the Wii U, but I don't have a Wii U. <laughs> Again, that's a system that my family, my brothers owned together, and one of my brothers has it. I have Sonic Forces for the Xbox One. I have the Sonic Racing games, both of those for 360. I have Sonic Colors for Wii and I have the original Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis those are the only Sonic games I own. I actually used to own more Sonic games I don't have them anymore I had like Sonic Generations uh, I had there was another one I had I can't remember which one 
It's not just on PC, you can get it for PS2 as well. Oh! That is good to know. My PS2 works. <laughs> That's cool. That has all the old... Does that have the, um... Does it have the Sega Genesis... The Sega Master System version of Sonic? Or is it just like the original Sonic games on Sega Genesis? Just want to take a look around up here. So you can't go beyond that wall. It's just... The end of the map. Oh, over there. That's right. We want to get up over there. Let me go over to that building. It does? Oh, wow. Hmm. I'd be very interested in getting that. You know, I can't stream it. I'm looking into getting... I gotta get... I really should invest in getting, like, an Elgato capture card. Because that'll have way more options of what kind of stuff I can stream. And just figure out. Because my OBS does not recognize my HD capture, which is why I can't stream Switch. Oh, that cop just fell over. Look at... <laughs> he popped himself back up. <laughs> Good to know I'm not the only one that drives like crap. Even the own cops can't can't drive around here. But uh cuz I really want to be able to stream other stuff. Not only because Oh, we can't get up there cuz there's stupid red gates. The red gates of hell. But being able to stream like other systems would be big for the channel. For you, it would be so much more fun. Plus, it's easier for me to upload these file types. That's like a... I would be able to stream it and just upload it. And everything would be so much easier to do. And having to record the gameplay. And then adding commentary in is a whole other thing. Uh, well, here we go. We can actually get over here from here. Both Genesis and Master System versions are there. It doesn't have Sonic CD or Sonic Racing on it, though. Sonic CD. You're talking about Sonic R? <laughs> I've always wanted to try Sonic R. It looks so hard. Like, I've heard it's a bad game, but people speedrun it, and I, some people really like that game, so I don't know. Played Sonic CD. I haven't played any, like, Sega CD or Sega Saturn or anything like that. Those are systems I haven't played either. Really, the only Sega I have any kind of um, experience with is basically the Sega Genesis and Sega Dreamcast. Um, and a little bit of Sega Game Gear I remember playing. Someone had one that I used to play. I guess old Spider-Man game or on or something that I really liked. So you don't need that red gate to get in here. So yeah, but we do need the red gate to get into there. Because there's a red gate down in the water that we can't get to. This opens up what might be the fifth level. This is a whole other part of the town right here. It's like a little town square. Getting up on this building, I don't know how we do that. Let's try and figure it out. It has a good soundtrack, Sonic R. Oh. I, cause um, one of the uh, streamers I watched was playing it recently. It's gonna be a brighter day. I remember like that song playing in like the, one of like the first level or something. Some chick singing. I was like, this song is awesome. And it, he mentioned how good the soundtrack was, too. His name's Pete Dore. I don't know if anyone's heard of him. Pete Dore uh, streams a lot of different stuff. He's He speedruns some things, too. Which I'm not totally... Like, I don't... I would never try and speedrun anything myself. That's just not the kind of gamer I am, but... He's a really chill, really chill streamer. Where'd I leave my car? I think it's back over here then. Oh, 
Alright, let's bring this over there too. There we go. I want to see if we can get up on this building and get some of those musical notes. Cop, really? You're just going to just block me? Like that? I feel like our run-ins with the cops are just getting started here. <laughs> it's going to become a running joke in this series. Alright, so how would you even get up there? I don't even know if they give you like a flying car or something later on in the town because there's no way for you like I said you can't change your vehicle out here so they don't I don't see any way to get up there dun, dun. See, I don't, and going back to like all the Elgato capture to try and stream other stuff, I don't even know if that's guaranteed for me to work. There's like nothing to jump on to here. Pretty sure my OBS should wreck out. you have? I already have a converter that converts the red, yellow, white cables, which I don't know, what would you call that? The AV? The AV cables into HD, so I can plug the HD end of it into my, my capture card, which is how I capture my Wii to get the GameCube games and the Wii games now. Um, and how I would capture anything I play PlayStation 2 stuff, you'll, it'll be from that. Um, I actually have that PlayStation 2 game on the way. I ordered it because I found it for a good price after I got paid and I was like, I have to get it. I got the X-Files game for PlayStation 2. It looks amazing. And uh, I got a, a, a complete copy of it with the right region code. And it was, it was cheap. It was less than dollars. Everywhere else I saw it, I, I jumped on. I was like, you know what? My roommate was there in the room. She's like, just just get it. Just get it. I was like, alright, I'll get it. Because I'm not going to see it cheaper than that. So it should be on its way, being shipped. That's definitely something I'm going to at least record for the channel. I'd love to be able to stream that game. But I don't think that's going to happen. As I improve the channel, get more stuff. Um, but I've already done a lot of different things for the channel. Plus, I also have to invest in trying to find a producer again for my music. Uh, that's gonna be tough. There's nothing. Maybe there. Oh wait, is this pig just over here crying? It is. The heck's the problem? Go cry yourself into the river. Cry me water. I can't talk to him. I can hit him. Why is he over here? Like seriously. There he is. He's under the water now. He can breathe under there. What's this penguin doing? Wall! <laughs> Is this like the corner where every one of these creatures go to act really weird? What? The pig's got a top hat on and now it's crying again. I don't understand. There's like... This is a portal to another dimension over here or something. It's a weird corner. I don't understand it. Look it! The rhinos are just looking at the door. This is where the town folk act really strange. Over here.
What do we get? Vacuum and springs. Okay. I'm trying to think how much longer I want to go right now because I gotta. So you gotta stop to eat and hydrate some. Um, went for a nice walk earlier and got some. S actually, really nice out where I am. And uh, grabbed a couple things from the grocery store. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably be streaming more stuff today. Um, recording some more stuff. I might even stream this again later tonight. Because I just can't get enough of this game right now. Like I said, it's like I'm playing the game for the first time all over again. Just like amazed at every little thing. I still want to get over there. You know what? I'm going to give this another try. But, uh, I think the Elgato will allow me to run my PlayStation 2 and my Xbox 360, my Wii, all through that. And that'll be amazing. I don't know how I'd record Sega Genesis gameplay, to be honest. I really don't know how. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could record if I had like a N64. I could do that too. I don't have one anymore. There's so much I need to invest in gaming wise. In terms of just games in general, but also like equipment and other, you know, systems and stuff. Because, uh, you know. Oh my gosh. It's so tough to get. Not as tough as trying to steer in the water here. So what I need to do is, when you jump out of the vehicle, you kind of just go straight up and then I, I need to be able to do that in the air if I can. I don't think I can though. I can't really get up enough speed to really make this jump. Yeah, you can't yeah, you can't do that right away in the air. So it's it's really at this point it's an impossible jump. How do I ever? I'm. I know I've gotten up there before too. Like, how did I do that? But I got like. Uh, I have like 360 games, PlayStation 2 games, and stuff. GameCube games. I obviously wish I could stream them all. If I could, I'd stream everything I played. Oh, wait, I'm streaming it. You know, all sorts of different stuff. And it's, like I said, it's just so much easier to upload. Like, I don't play as many games off stream as I like because... It's because I know if I want to record it, it's... The file types are going to... They take so long. GoldenEye Rogue Agent takes... Or, you know, Nightmare Creatures 2. Even Yoshi's Crafted World. Those files take so long to upload. And if I edit like a couple parts together, then it's just like, it's like three hours. It's more annoying than anything, but... How would I get up there? I don't, see, I don't remember if there's a way that they like, turn, hit a switch or something and dare how to do everything in the game. Just jump in the water. The only thing I can do is something that would take a lot. But all these visual boxes, I could like stack them up over here. Make like a set of stairs and kind of climb up on and then jump off over to that. If that would... 
I don't think it'd be sturdy enough though. I don't know if I'll have enough boxes to pull that off. Hmm. Fight another day there with that. Four of the um the first level yet. Two, three, four. We have all the jiggies from the first four acts. And and nutty acres. And then the next door would be Is it this one that's thirty one? That seems kinda weird. Seems kinda high. Might be. Yeah, because that's a nutty acres. And then forty seven, this is another nutty acres door there too. So you see those we're well away from those numbers. So I think we're Kinda set with Nutty Acres unless we want to go after some of those like Jinjo challenges for now. Cause we got all the musical notes. I'll we'll just spend more time in Logbox 720. Cause we're like. What are we, 17 away from getting to that next door? I'm gonna need to in this episode or not. I do need to go do a few things and then I'll be stream again later on. But I'm just... Where, there's something else I want to get. Saw a crate over here. There it is, it's on top of that. Alright, so I think if I take my vehicle over right here in it. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? I did it! Oh my gosh. It's like the trick we did earlier. I had to like release it and jump in it all in like one motion. Got it. Let's see what this is. Is this the sticky ball? No, liquid squirter and sp two spoilers. Okay. Weren't there like other crates over that area though that I wanted to get? Pretty sure there were like other crates over here. Like up on top of this building, maybe? Another one up on top of this building. How would I get up there? Maybe not though. Yeah, like up there, I swear. Yeah, there is one up there. I can see it glowing right now. Can I climb this? No. Like how in the world would you get up there? Ugh, these camera angles. We have to get on this part of the building. How would we even achieve that? I'm 
Look, and there's like nowhere to jump. Mm, I have one idea that I can see. Not sure if this is gonna work, but. First of all, we have to do this trick again, which is not easy. There we go. Alright, now. I have to like back it up. Over there, I kind of have to like turn around. Oh my gosh. Oh, we can climb up right here. There we go. So I was kind of right. I was going to try and go over the sign. There it is. No. We lost it. Probably going to end this part here, guys, after I uh, grab this crate. And then uh, I said I could end up streaming this again today. Uh, there's really, like, I'm just like, so in the mood to play this game, like. I love going around trying to get to all these crates and musical notes and getting all the jiggies and the levels. Getting new cars and stuff like that. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Light. Light parts and an egg turret. There we go. So that was well worth it. Alright. Gonna end it there. Thank you all so much for watching. Sparky, Jack, thank you for coming in on the stream. Everybody watches on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying this series. This is part four. Plenty more of this game to come. It's gonna be a big series, guys. You can already feel that. We know how much we're enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying watching it. So... Till next time, everyone. Zero is the number. Take care.